What's up everybody, Ryan Clevenger, AKA InstaClev, and today I'm gonna to be doing a very unprofessional beer review. Uh, so if you're a craft beer drinker, IPA, you wanna hear about the notes and the flavors, blah, 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 this is not the review for you. Go jerk on, go jerk off in a craft beer bottle somewhere and just leave, exit out. But before you exit out, give it a thumbs up, you know, just cause you're a nice guy. But I'm gonna be doing a beer review on a, uh, Bud Light Orange. It's Bud Light's newest flavor, newest concoction, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they got the Bud Light Lime, so I'm assuming this is kind of just along that same line. Um, spoiler alert, I've already had this, even though like I'm just opening this one. This is actually the last beer of a 12 pack. So I've already had it. Obviously don't think it's the worst thing in the world because I'm drinking it, but also I'm a guy that doesn't leave any beer behind. Um, so it probably doesn't say much for the beer. I'm just not gonna like, one, I spent my own money on it, so I'm not gonna waste it. But as far as the review goes, what the fuck did I just say? But as far as the review goes, I just wanna start out with the first thing. It's the first thing you see, uh, it's the can. It's a slim can, I don't know if you can really tell that through the video, but it's pretty similar to Michelob Ultra, I think. I've never actually bought Michelob Ultra like cans, but I've seen it. And it looks the same. It's still a 12 ounce can, but just like in a slim, like energy drink style. And at first, not a big fan of it because I went to put it in the koozie and of course it was loose. So it's like you put a condom on and it's a loose condom. You just don't trust a loose condom. And before any of you smart asses get in the comments and say something about a small penis, I have a very average penis first off. And second off, it's the only analogy, it's like the first analogy that came to my head. So back off. But... It's just, I just didn't like that. Like, I just, I want to have a koozie. I'm a koozie guy. And so that threw me off at first. But then I went to my buddy's house. And when I got out of my vehicle, I had one with me because I took a road soda with me because I'm irresponsible. But if a cop asked, I didn't have it on me. That I never, that never happened. Um, but when I got out, he's like, oh man, at first I thought you had a beer with you, but obviously you don't. I'm like, actually, no, it is a beer. And he's like, Oh, I thought it was like just like an energy drink. So I do like that aspect of like being incognito, inconspicuous. Like if you just have your hand over the Bud Light part, you just kind of have it covered up. It just looks like an orange Red Bull or something like that. And I just fucking rookie moved it and poured it all like all over my crotch. I, my, I had a little hole in my mouth there, hole in my lip. Like since I'm in a chair, it's like just puddling into my nutsack right now, which is great. But outside the can, oh, before I get to like the actual taste of it, but like idea, just throw me a slim koozie in each 12 pack or 24 pack. You know, it'll be marketing for you if I have a Bud Light koozie or whoever has a Bud Light slim can koozie. Just an idea. If you guys do do that, I'll take a 5% royalty. No big deal. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, but as far as the taste goes, the best way I can describe it, that I've described it to my other friends that's asked about it is that it's like if Bud Light and Orange Soda got drunk one night together and like hooked up, this would be the aftermath. Like it just really tastes like Orange Soda beer. Like it's not overly sweet. Like I was expecting it to be like a Blue Moon sock top type thing, like thick and sweet. And then after like one, you're like, I'm good. Not the case. It's actually pretty decent beer. Like the best way I could describe it is breakfast beer like this is the ultimate breakfast blah, 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 ultimate breakfast beer i think like you got some bacon some eggs you're gonna start a day of drinking this would be a good beer you got 7 12 tea time with the boys good beer to start out if you're not a bloody mary person because let's be honest that's how you start out a day of golfing is with a bloody mary but i could see this as like a solid substitute um or even if you just had like a hangover and you just kind of wanted to edge it off perfect beer for it just get like a 12 pack, put it on the side of the fridge, you know, and like that's just your start of the day beer. Like you got day drinking coming up, you got a big day, Indianapolis 500, you're gonna get up and do it. Uh, Super Bowl, you know the big events, the important events in your life, bar mitzvahs, uh, your kid's circumcision, whatever, whatever, whatever the requires, requi requires day drinking. I don't know if circumcisions do, but like I'm gonna be honest with you, like when if I have a kid and my boys get circumcised, I'm gonna have to have a beer to get me through that, because that's I can just see that as being traumatizing. 
I'm back. Um, but really, other than that, man, it's like really, I think it's just like the ultimate breakfast beer. It's not going to be as sweet, so like when I heard of it, I thought it was going to be sweet. It's really not that bad, so if you haven't had it, I recommend just trying to at least get a six pack if you can find one. All I could find was a 12 pack, but I have seen six packs like on other like videos. And uh, so when you do go buy one, tell them InstaCleb since you get 10% off. That's also not true, but it would be funny just to see where the reaction, maybe... They know an InstaClev, maybe all that the only InstaClev, and maybe you get 10% off. Or maybe they just fucking laugh at you. They're just going to laugh at you, I'm going to be honest with you. But other than that, like, subscribe, um, have a beer for me, and salute.